Yeah. Yeah. Undertale has one of the most diverse casts of characters I've encountered in a game in a long time. From hot dog selling skeletons to spear throwing fish ladies, its cast has enough quirkiness to satisfy anyone's imagination. A lot of Undertale's characters remind me of other characters I've experienced in life, and our nerdy dinosaur friend is no different. Alfie's gives off a strong Francis vibe for anyone who has played the Paper Mario series. From their overly nervous behavior to their obsession with anime, both characters seem to go hand in hand. Alfie's was always an interesting character for me in Undertale. During my first playthrough, I wasn't entirely sure what to think of her. Some people grew annoyed by her constantly contacting the player, but I kind of found it funny since it does reflect certain people that I knew online. I will say that I wasn't expecting the second half of the game to be a ploy by her though. It caught me off guard in my first playthrough, which was a neutral run. However, because of this, I became a lot more interested in her as a character overall. When you finally get around to discovering the True Lab in a pacifist run, you begin to understand her character a bit more, and the weight that she carries on her shoulders. At this point, my perception of her changed, but I couldn't shake the feeling of sadness. Upon diving into the game further and unveiling the different routes the story can take, this feeling of sadness only grew, and I began to understand just how close to the breaking point Alphys was. Alphys wasn't the most confident or emotionally strong character, but because of that, I often thought she was the most real of the characters. She constantly battled with self-worth, and this became more increasingly clear the farther you dove into the different outcomes of Undertale, and this really painted a sad picture. Several times throughout Undertale, you are constantly reminded that Alphys is a nervous wreck. She doesn't want people to view her negatively and often hides things because of this. In her eyes, being dishonest is less of a psychological burden than being scrutinized for her failures. And I think this is a condition a lot of people battle with in real life. The true pacifist ending is a perfect indicator that something positive can be lying just beyond the boundaries of these conditions, however. Unfortunately though, there are many different endings within Undertale, and some of them are vague about what choices Alfie's made. Much like in my video about Frisk, there can be multiple interpretations and routes that this can take. The neutral endings are the greatest source of mystery, as they are entirely unclear about what happened. Metaton's ending discusses the event the longest, as Metaton talks about how he had went to visit Alphys, but couldn't find her anywhere. He mentions he built a statue of her though, and talks about how he shouldn't have been so hard on her. Other endings touch on her disappearance as well, but again, we don't have any clarity on the actual outcome, as we aren't given any key words. So what happened to her? Did she run away? Is she hiding? Or did she pass on? Through a phone call with Undyne, we learn that she first encountered Alfie staring into the abyss at the garbage dump. Based on how much time Alfie spent in this location, both on the technology side of things and for the chance of running into Undyne, it is clear that this area was very important to her. I like to believe this abyss was very important to her as well, based on all the theories she thought about in regards to where it leads. As a scientist, I'm sure Alfie's craved the unknown. It makes me wonder why she didn't send one of her mini metatons down there to explore or utilize the jetpack function on the phone for something else. Either way, I can understand visiting it often, as I'm fascinated by sinkholes and caves in general myself. However, there could also be another reason why she was visiting this pit, and it wasn't for the most happiest of reasons, and that is to take her own life. I imagine Alfie's carried an immense psychological burden and she existed thinking that she was a failure when she clearly wasn't in the eyes of others. A lot of people assume that Alfie's chose to use this pit to end it all, when everyone she cared for was no longer around. However, although some people say it's implied, there is always a possibility that this isn't the case. Alfie's had a lot of trouble connecting with people in real life, 
but online she was able to find peace, if only temporarily. There's always a possibility that she left to go elsewhere in the underground, and to start anew. By leaving this life behind, she could start somewhere else without the burdens she was always carrying. I'm sure the underground is far more vast than what we can explore with an Undertale, so I can't write off that possibility. However, giving up technology and starting from the ground up is a burdening task in itself, so it really pulls me back and forth on this. At one point, I also thought she may have banished herself to the True Lab, but this probably wouldn't be the case because Metaton would have found her there. Having been created there, I think it would have been a place he would check right away. So all in all, there's a few possibilities for what happened. Either Alphys is in hiding, has left for another part of the underground, or unfortunately, decided to take her own life. I'm not entirely sure what the outcome was myself, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, so please share them in the comments below. I did want to leave one last note about all of this before ending the video though. I think a lot of people in life bear similar burdens just like Alfie's. From depression to social anxiety, we carry a lot on our shoulders, and it can be hard to overcome these obstacles. We try to hide things that people may find weird, even though we really just want to share them with the world and not be judged. In many ways, a lot of us are just like Alfie's. One thing that's important to know though, is that this moment you may be in right now isn't the end all be all. Times may be tough, and life may be difficult, but just know that there's a light at the end of this dark tunnel. Even for Alphys, there was happiness in her future once everything fell into place on the true pacifist run. I think our lives work the same way, so if you're ever in a rut, don't bottle it up inside. Find someone to talk to, and be sure to never lose your spark. You're very important, and although you may not feel that way sometimes, we often look over things about ourselves that other people would surely vouch for. So please, keep this in mind, and thanks for listening. And with that, thanks for tuning in to our post-ending speculation of Undertale. If you'd like to join us on our YouTube voyage and help us solve the mysteries of the underground, then the subscribe button is just what you're looking for. Thanks for watching guys and gals, and until our next video, cheers. You've made it to the end of the video, but wait, your quest isn't over yet. There's a slew of other Undertale mysteries I could use your help on. Perhaps you'd like to hear my thoughts on Metaton and the ghosts in Undertale, or maybe you could chime in with your thoughts on the darkness that is Kara. Regardless, I hope you enjoy.